What's up everybody, I'm back with another video. This time I wanna do a build video. I want to begin to help you guys learn how to build your builds on the Division Two. Now I started this video, I told my brother, none other than the Hall of Famer, Cal Wu, that I would do this video. But I know that there are many people out there who may have some questions about how to strategically build builds. So I wanna do a specific build today. We're gonna to talk about the Eclipse build. This build hits hard. I'm talking about it's one of the best builds on a division, especially when it comes to skill builds and it comes to status effect builds. So I'm excited to talk about this build, show you guys this build. I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of me using this build so you can see how effective it is. And then after that, I'm gonna go piece by piece to show you how to build this build. Let's get into this video. So if you guys are looking for this Eclipse build, now is like the perfect time to get it because the new season just started on Tuesday, this past Tuesday. And so let me show you guys, you can basically go along your reward track and pretty much kill two birds with one stone. So let me show you, you hit the start button, you go over to your seasons, and then you can see you wanna hit Y to go to your rewards track. And so these are all the perks that you will get from leveling up in season eight. You guys can see some of the things, I'll go through some of the pieces, so the two, I would say gear pieces and gear sets and the other items that you can get for your gear is the Walker Harris company. That's one of the major ones that they're focusing on. They usually focus on two of them. So that's one Walker Harris. You see all these Walker Harris pieces, Walker Harris. And then as you begin to progress further, you see right there, Eclipse Protocol Mask. And as you continue to progress, there's some gloves at level 13, there's a holster at level 14, and so forth and so forth. But I wanna show you guys one of the critical pieces, I should say, that you wanna farm for in this season pass that is critical to your Eclipse build that will help enhance your overall build. You see there's a chest piece, there's a backpack right there. So I'm gonna go along this, keep showing you guys. I'm looking for a specific item. And once I get to it, I will explain what it is later. But I will show you guys what it is first. So let's keep going. You gotta go really high to get it. So that's why I said you kill two birds in one stone by farming your season pass. There it is, level 90. You want that vial mask for your Eclipse protocol build. That vial mask right there that you get at level 90 you will, it will definitely take your Eclipse Protocol build to the next level. And as you can see, there's two different tracks. You got the regular track on top, that's like the basic, but if you have the season pass, or I should say, the um, if you pay for the other one, you can get the ones at the bottom. That's all the perks that you can get at the bottom all the way along the way. As you can see, the premium access gives you way more perks and benefits for having the premium access. Now let's get into the gameplay. Line it up. Watch it spread. Look at that. Ooh, I love this build. Now that the sticky bomb is recharging, hit him with the chem launcher. He's on fire. See him burning. Spreading. Look at that. Already through that first part. You are now group leader. Hope somebody joined. I love this build, man. I'm trying to tell you. I have so much fun with this build, it's ridiculous. My brother Joel is inviting me to a party. Get in there in a second. So you can use, see how you can kick this off? Watch this, you can hit one. Ah, I missed him. That's the other thing, you don't wanna miss. You miss, don't worry. We'll try to get somebody else on fire. Oh, he's standing right there, so let's get him. All right, he's on fire. Watch it spread. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Now, if you see that timer of 15 minutes and 53 seconds, I did this yesterday with my third character, but my third character does not have an Eclipse build. So in the group that I was running with, we were trying to get it done, but we went down way too many times. That's the thing we do in these time runs. You can't go down. You don't want to miss your shots and you can't go down. There we go, watch that. Look at that. It's spreading, look. Next group. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
There's one more person in there. Try to catch him on his way out. He won't come out. I catch him. Ah, uh, yep, got him. Hit him again, just in case. He's burning, he got a little bit more armor. There we go. We're through that part. Get this key card. Looks like that key card is the one we were looking for. All right, let's keep it going. you guys a little bit more of this build because you pretty much get the gist of it already it's legit catch them coming out that door right there that's the great thing about this build you can catch them coming out the door look at that clear the entire wave of npcs out without even shooting a bullet love it look at our time out of 14 minutes we're already at we only got three minutes i love it Speed Both runs. It's gonna be an NPC coming straight ahead. Try to catch him in the middle. Got him. Now let it spread. So, as you can see, when they die, anybody within a 30 meter proximity, and I'll explain all this later, that's how you see that fire starting to spread amongst these NPCs because that's the way the build is built. Like I said, we'll get into this later. Show you guys a little bit more footage so you can see how effective this build is. I love having fun with this build. I told you guys one of my favorite builds. Shout out to Nothing But Skills for putting this build together and doing a video about it. Nothing But Skills is a fellow YouTube streamer. The reason why I say fellow YouTube streamer because although I do not have that many gaming videos, I'm fairly new to the gaming uploads. I do have a family channel, Just The Monks, and so we've been streaming on the, our family channel, although I'm fairly new in the gaming. Got him. Let it spread. Oh, sometimes you come across heavies. Don't make a difference. That's the one thing about this. You do not have a lot of armor. So you see my armor was depleted pretty much. Waiting on my sticky bomb to come back because it does the most damage. Hitting with that. Now I can hit him with shotgun, crack his armor. That's a good thing. I got a status effect shotgun too. This build is OP. I love it. Now I'll go with the Kim launcher. Load this up. Try to catch them in this hallway over here. This is where they're going to come from. That's the great thing about this build is you can literally catch them when they're like right now. See, caught them. You know, if you know where they're coming from, you can catch them and burn them up. I love it. So just in case, I think there's another way. Upload this door. It's almost not fair to the NPCs. <laughs> oh man, not fair to them but lovely for me and my teammates. Send some more. They're gonna come, yep, there they go. As soon as they come, they're gonna be in for rude awakening. Got them. Let's go. Let's go. Love it. Now we got 15 seconds left on this timer. Hopefully another wave does not come. If it does, we will kill him. Looks like we made it. All right, sweet. Oh, they sent another spawn. They spawned another one at the end. President Ellis. Oh, the helicopter on standby to extract him. They would do that at the end. Try to get down on him. Let's go. No matter. We told you we'll take care of him. <laughs> All right, enough of the game footage. Let's get into the build. All right, I had to come in here to the specializations table in the base of operations to show you guys one of the things that helps this build be as effective as you saw it be in that video. Open this menu, the firewall specialization. 
as you can see, you go right up here, you get an additional 20% burn duration by having this maxed out on your firewall tree. So uh, you also get an additional 30% health on kill. This is how the firewall specialization enhances your Eclipse build. Now let's get into the rest of the build. As you can see, I got the firewall specialization on right up top. I am running the Scorpio shotgun with this build. Why am I running the Scorpio shotgun? As you can see, I still have some work to do on it. I can get that shotgun damage a little higher, damage the armor higher, and then my attribute, you know, critical hit damage. So look at the talent on there. That's the most important thing, septic shock. Shooting the target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks add more severe debuffs to the target. So one shot will get you poison, three shots will get you disorient, six shots will get you shock, and seven, Targets take additional 20% damage from all sources. Stacks no longer increase. So you get an additional buff of 20% damage coming from once you hit land seven shots. The duration of status effects is based on the percentage of pellets hitting and applying shot. So if you hit more pellets of that, then that will be more damage to that particular, you know, one, three, six, or seven, et cetera, et cetera. My second weapon that I'm running is the test subject. Now, any of this is subjective. You can run any weapons that you feel is best for your play style. These are the two that I like to run. And the reason why I'm running the test subject is look at that talent, perfectly in sync. Hitting the enemy is 20% skill damage for five seconds. And then you keep going down. Using a skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 20% weapon damage for five seconds. Damage increase are double when both buffs are active at the same time so if i have if i'm hitting somebody with a skill which i usually am and then i'm hitting them with the weapon i'm getting 40 percent skill damage an additional for five seconds and then an additional 40 percent weapon damage that weapon damage comes in handy with the skill build because you do not have a lot of dps one of the other favorites that you can run with skill builds is the capacitor but I'll save that for another build. I specifically like to run these two on my Eclipse build. This is the Vial Mask that I told you guys that you need to farm for during the Season 8 pass. This is why. Look at that talent. So it automatically comes with one skill tier on it, which is critical for skill builds. Because you want to have, if you look over here to the left of your screen, right by my shoulder, you will see skill tier. You want that maxed out level 6. The more skill tiers you have, the more damage your skill does. You want to go to, you see how it has status effects on there, hazard protection, and then I have a mod on there for 11.9% skill haste. The, ta the talent is key on this mask. Toxic delivery. Status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes. So this will help your status effects last longer. That's why this mask is key to enhancing this particular build. And it also has uh, something that it adds. And so not only are you hitting them with fire, you're also hitting them with an additional effect that comes from this mask. All right, let's keep making our way down. Let's go to the chest piece. Now you see, when you're building any gear set build, you usually, you'll need four out of six pieces. You don't need an entire six pieces because at that point you're wasting space. You can increase your or enhance your build by putting two other things in those empty slots. As you can see, I have on the Vile Mask, that's not an Eclipse Protocol gear set piece. It enhances my build. So let's go through these four pieces that I have on because look at what two piece gives you. Two piece gives you status effects Three piece gives you 15% skill haste and 30% hazard protection. Four pieces gives you indirect transmission, which your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refresh 50% of the duration. I know I said 30 earlier, I apologize for that. <laughs> so it's 10 meters, not 30 meters. But you see, this is what four pieces of Eclipse Protocol gives you. That's why you were seeing, I was able to catch one NPC on fire and then it once he died it just spread to the rest of them so that's my chest piece and then you can see i have status effects on there 
maxed out and I have skill of uh, skill of, uh, haste maxed out on there as well but let's look at the talent now this talent is proliferation it increases indirect transmission range from 10 to 15 meters so we're getting up from 10 meters to 15 meters and it refreshes the percentage from 50 to 75 percent now I'm going to show you there are two different ways to run this and I'm going to show you why I run mine the way I run mine so let's go to the holster. The holster, as you can see, comes with a skill tier, and then I have maxed out status effects on there. This build is all about status effects. So you don't, you will want status effects over skill damage or skill haste on this particular build. Moving along, knee pad, same thing. Maxed out status effects, see that? Glove, same thing. Max out stat effect, status effects. It comes with the skill tier on it. Now, here's where my build is a little different. There are two different ways you can run this, and I'm going to show you both ways. You can run it with a wavering wire backpack, which gives you an additional 10% skill damage. This is why I run it the way I run it. It gives me an additional 10% skill damage, and it also gives me... I have 10% status effects on there. I have 12% skill haste on there. And then I have a 12% skill haste mod. And then look at that talent, shock and awe. Applying a status effect to an enemy increases total skill damage and repair by 20% for 20 seconds. With the skill build, that will definitely come in handy. You wanna be able to kill your NPCs, kill your enemies quickly. So yeah, that additional 20%. And then look at this piece alone. This piece alone gives me an additional 30% skill damage. Based off of the talent I get at the top, I mean, uh, from the brand set alone, and then based upon, look at that talent down there, I'm getting an additional 30% skill damage. Now, you can choose to run the backpack, the Eclipse Protocol backpack, but, and then of course on the attributes you can put skill, uh, status effects and then you can the run then you will have to run uh, skill haste as a mod but you see how i will only get one attribute by using the backpack that's why i think that this is better because not only do i get status effects i also get skill haste whereas if i had this backpack on i would just be able to have status effects on there and then i could put skill haste so i be, i will be missing one of the things that I have on here, like I have double the skill haste on my wave and wire backpack, where I only will be able to have one skill haste on here and probably one status effects. See the difference? So if you choose to go with the backpack, you get amplifies all damage dealt to status effects targets by 30%. But I'm getting the same thing for my wave and wire, and plus I'm getting an additional attribute. So that's why I run it with the wave and wire backpack. And then I get that. So I'm getting the same amount of damage with an extra attribute. So to me, that works out. Go over to the pistol. Best, you know, in-game pistol that you can run for skill builds is the TD Car Custom because it automatically comes with a skill tier on it, as you can see right there under the core attributes. It also comes with pistol damage, but look how much damage you could do with this pistol as a skill build. Uh, I'm hitting for 133,000 damage per bullet rounds 310 and then i got an 18 round mag so each of those bullets are hitting for 100 minimum hitting for 133,000 damage and you see my pistol damage is not even maxed out all the way it's at 12.8 out of 15 so that can definitely be higher now let's get into the skills that i run the chem launcher the fire starter so if you go in here you can see your different See this fire starter? You got your different chem launchers. Fire starter is key. You want the fire starter? Why do you want the fire starter? Look at that. You get seven. You get your ammo of seven. You cool down to sixteen point two. Won't go through all the rest of that, but look at your damage: five hundred and forty thousand per chem launcher. Your burn damage is two hundred and forty-eight thousand. That's pretty high. That's amazing. Your burn duration is twelve point five seconds, and then it goes to the PVP numbers, which you can see is significantly lower. You scroll down because I have six tier. Remember, I said six tier with skill skill builds are, are are critical. Because I have six tiers, I get six ammos in my chem launcher. My my blast radius is thirty percent. My burn duration is sixty percent, and my burn damage is sixty percent. I love that.
Let me show you on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have damage and then I also have skill haste. That's the two things that I have on my Kim launcher. And then I'm missing, I don't, I don't haven't been able to get a mod for that in a little while. Now let's go over to the sticky bomb. So you got your different sticky bombs, burn, you know, EMP, explosive, et cetera, et cetera. Let's get into the burn one. So because I have on the burn sticky bomb, remember this is a status effect build, my cooldown is 17.8 seconds, but look at that damage. 1.28 million. I'm hitting 1.28 million per sticky bomb. My duration is 12 seconds. Then look at my burn duration because I have, look at all my skill tiers because I have six skill tiers. Look at my burn damage, 60%. My burn duration, 120%. My skill haste is 90%. Man, that's off the chains. I love it. That's pretty much the build. Let me know, guys, if there's any other tutorials that you would like for me to do. Let me know what is some of your favorite builds that you like to run on the Division 2. Let me know if there's any different variations of the Eclipse build that you run that you think can help anybody else, let me know in the comments. Definitely want to interact with you. Definitely want to hear from you. But before I go, I will leave you with this. I did that time significantly faster than my first go around. My character who did not have an Eclipse build, I did it in about 10 minutes, whereas my other character took me 15. Wanted to leave you guys with that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As you can see, my brother Joel clapping it up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share this video with somebody who needs to see it. And we will catch you guys in the next one.